There's a lot of material actually you need to build and use the BMS and uh, probably the best starting point is really the Annexus website where you click on the material button at the top and then you can uh, click on the battery management system and get to this page which uh, provides a summary of all the links that are required uh, for the BMS. And the most important ones are the um, to the firmware repository and to the hardware repository. Uh, these are all hosted on GitHub so you can post your issues or send pull requests and yeah the, the page for the BMS hardware for example looks like this provides a really draft overview of what the BMS is and contains lots of links to the documents required to understand the BMS and get started with it so one is the PDF file of the schematic there's of course also the native KiCad file which you can use but a PDF is easier to access if you just want to have a short look and we've got the bill of materials as a normal csv file and an interactive bill of materials which i will show in the next slide and uh, a link to the firmware repository and the manual and some mechanical design files as well the uh, user manual which is also linked in the previously shown page contains all the information you need to uh, integrate the battery the bms into a battery pack for example here it shows where to connect the chargers or the loads where to connect the battery cells in this connector and the temperature sensors and it contains lots of other yeah, information how to to use it then uh, this is this interactive html bomb i just mentioned it's an export from uh, the KiCad program and it's really useful if you want to build the bms or also if you want to have an understanding of what the components on the bms MSR. So you, you get this bill of materials at the left side and you can click on those uh, lines and then it shows you, it highlights the parts uh, on the right side corresponding to the entry in the list and this really helps for manufacturing and understanding. Then there is the firmware GitHub repository. You can of course have a look into the source code itself, but uh, maybe as a starting point, it would be best to look into the render documentation, which is linked at the top right corner here. And this will bring you to another website, which looks like this. And uh, it yeah shows the basic features of the BMS firmware. It shows how to set up the uh, workspace based on the Zephyr Artos and also shows you how to flash the firmware. And at the very bottom, you see the API reference where you can see the different functions uh, and how to call them so that you can uh, get an easier understanding of the firmware. And last but not least, the uh, communication protocol we are using, it's called uh, ThinkSet and uh, it's the same protocol that we use for the serial interface and for Bluetooth. And it can also easily be integrated into uh, via internet and cloud infrastructure via MQT. It's all documented in the thingset.io website. And yeah, the basic concept is that you send some JSON data from the device or to the device. And with this data, you can configure the EMS. For example, you can set different voltage thresholds for over voltage or under voltage and so on. And you can read out measurement values, basically do everything uh, you need uh, to interact with the BMS. And for doing that, we also provide an open source mobile app that's developed in Flutter you see the link uh, down below but it's not so this app is still in the in progress it works with and i've only tested this with android so far but yeah there, there will come some more advanced features in the future currently it's sufficient uh, to set the thresholds and get some voltage measurements and so on uh, but it will be improved in the future